The Ganges, holy and mighty river of India, originates from the Himalaya. It is the lifeline of the billions of people in Asia. Haridwar, one of the holiest places in Hindu mythology, is located in the foothills of the Himalayas. To meet the requirements of millions of people in northern India, a canal named as Upper Ganga Canal is taken off from the Bhingoda Barrage at Haridwar. Rurki, an ancient city, is located on the banks of this Upper Ganga Canal in the Haridwar district, just about 35 kilometers downstream. Rurki is well known as a seat of learning, not only due to the famous Indian Institute of Technology Rurki, but also due to earlier University of Rurki. Back in 1847, the British established the first technical institution in the entire British Empire in the name of Thompson College of Civil Engineering. One of the prime reasons the college came into being was to meet the requirements of qualified personnel for the construction of Upper Ganges Canal. Just after independence in 1949, this college was upgraded to the status of university as University of Rurki. This University of Rurki has played a significant role in the transformation of modern India. The contemporary major water resources projects were called as the then modern temples of the country. Realizing the importance of water in modern India, the first Prime Minister of India laid the foundation of exclusive department in the name of Water Resources Department and Training Center WRDTC at the University of Rurki in 1955. The University and WRDTC reached a maturity level and contributed significantly to the development and management of water resources, not only in India, but also in a number of Afro-Asian countries. Recognizing the contributions of the University of Rurki in various areas of engineering, the Government of India in September 2001 further upgraded it to the level of Indian Institute of Technology Rurki. IIT Rurki spawned other IITs and gave an impetus to scientific and engineering technology growth throughout the country. As of today, the IIT Rurki has 19 departments and 4 academic centers of excellence. The Department of Water Resources Development and Management is one of the unique and pioneer departments of this world-famous institute. The department has played a key role in the construction of famous water resources projects like Bhakranangal Dam, Hirajud Dam, Nagarjun Sagar Dam, Tehidi Dam, etc. The Vice Chancellor of the then University of Rurki, Dr. A. N. Khosla, was the first director of WRDTC. He was internationally renowned in the field of water resources engineering. After his name, Khosla theory is still practiced by irrigation engineers world over for the design of hydraulic structures resting on permeable foundation. Besides, Dr. Bharat Singh who was also the director of WRDTC and later rose to the position of Vice-Chancellor of University of Rurki, was also an internationally renowned irrigation and water resources engineer. His textbook on irrigation engineering is widely referred world over. The prime objective of WRDM department of IIT Rurki is to impart postgraduate degree education and training to fresh Indian graduates as well as serving engineers in India and abroad in the field of water resources development and irrigation water management. The water resources development program of WRDM is designed for working civil, electrical and mechanical engineers. 
The Irrigation Water Management Program is designed for working civil engineers and agricultural engineers and agricultural scientists. The one-year postgraduate diploma course is spread over two semesters and the Master of Technology course is extended over four semesters. Besides, WRDM also offers one-year training program apart from short duration training programs. Students may join the two-semester postgraduate diploma course and then the Master of Technology four-semester course and thereafter they may opt for PhD on a relevant topic of their choice. WRDM curriculum covers the courses involving civil, electrical, mechanical engineering, hydropower, hydraulic structures, irrigation, besides soil, farm and agriculture. Soil erosion is a big threat to productivity of soil. Due to soil loss, top fertile layer is uh, lost and uh, our productivity reduced. So in this regard, rainfall simulator can be an ideal instrument to study the rainfall runoff and sedimental modeling. With the help of this rainfall simulator, we can understand or we can find out the, the uh, relationship between the rainfall under different intensities and that can give you the idea of uh, how much soil ice is occurring from particular field in different intensities. I am a second year PhD student. I am working in the field of soil moisture monitoring using uh, remote sensing data. What I do, I uh, estimate the soil moisture from scatterometer data and uh, go to the field and verify whether it is correct or not. Then I use that soil moisture data into hydrological modeling through data assimilation techniques. On an average, more than 100 students postgraduate each year. About 30 students obtain PhD with dissertation on topics as diverse as runoff and sediment yield modeling to urban drainage to groundwater development to remote sensing to cyclone converters fed large asynchronous hydro generating units. Generally, in hydropower plants, the generators are operated beyond its rated load when excess water is available. For example, it was six weeks in the case of Kachamangdo hydropower plant in India. That consultancy was worked under our laboratory research. That machine was manufactured for 20% overload operation. So we focus our research on the generators operated in overall hydropower plants for 20% overload operation. In this project, we work on the viability of operation of saline pole synchronous generator at 20% overload operation. So far, WRTM has trained a number of professional water resources engineers from the states of Odisha, Gujarat, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and so on besides engineers from northeastern states. A number of engineers from central organizations such as Central Water Commission, CSMRS, CWPRS, CGWD, NWDA and several public sectors such as NHPC, UJVNL, THDC, NTPC and so on have been benefited. Apart from Indian students, students have also been benefited from several other Afro-Asian countries such as Nepal, Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania, Sudan and Ghana, Uzbekistan, Indonesia, Thailand, Mauritius and so on. In all, more than 2,800 engineers and scientists from more than 50 countries have gained specialized expertise. Thus, WRTM is the right place for working engineers to enhance their skill and knowledge levels by joining its academic programs. Apart from training, IIT Roorkee's WRTM department is actively engaged in research in water resources, cropping systems and irrigation water management, groundwater development and management, rainwater harvesting, interbasin transfer, remote sensing, flood control, irrigation and drainage, hydropower generation and so on. Some of the ongoing major research and development projects are Hydrological response of a river basin in changing climate Sponsored by Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation 
Gramin Krishi Mausam Seva and Fasal Projects sponsored by India Meteorological Department Ministry of Earth Sciences Government of India Hydrological experiment for the validation of scatterometer derived hydrological products sponsored by Space Application Center ISRO Ahmedabad Experimental verification of SCS runoff curve numbers for selected soils and land uses sponsored by Ministry of Water Resources River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation Identification of Vulnerable Areas in Himalayan Watersheds Sponsored by Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation Analysis of Dynamic Performance of Variable Speed Hydroelectric Plants Under Grid Disturbances Sponsored by THDC India Limited Doubly fed induction machine as a propulsion motor in tugboats to improve fuel efficiency sponsored by Ministry of Shipping. Pumped hydro energy storage robust computing and control technologies for enhanced energy efficiency, power quality and reliability sponsored by SERB India. Reduction of switching transients in doubly fed induction machines used in large pumped storage plants sponsored by CPRI Bangalore. WRTM has several laboratories to help in studies and research. It has an electrical lab. There are two laboratories under Hydroelectric Systems group of this department. One is Hydropower Simulation Laboratory deals with simulation of uh, electrical and mechanical components of hydropower systems and the other one is validating simulation results through laboratory prototypes named Power Electronics and Hydroelectric Machines Laboratory. We have set two uh, targets to be achieved in next five years. One is real-time simulation of large rated variable speed hydro and other one is the development of redundancy in excitation system which is an unsolved problem in front of power engineering community. A computer lab, river engineering lab, and a soil and IWM lab. In addition, the institute has established an experimental farm at Toda Kalyanpur to carry out practical hands-on studies as well as verification of soil conservation and soil related activities. WRTM has highly trained and experienced faculty. Over the years, the institute and its faculty have participated in various activities engaging with industries and government institutions. We have established two Indian standards also through this uh, our contribution. One is IS 15792 that is uh, artificial recharge to groundwater guidelines and another is IS15792. WRTM has provided technological consultancy and its faculty have been engaged with leading industries and public sector organizations. This is, has come and I, am the, I was the principal member from the institute. Such as the Water Resources Department of the Government of Odisha, Power Finance Corporation, Uttaranchal Jalvidyut Nigam, Central Water Commission, Huda, Desain, National Hydropower Corporation and Water Resources Department of MP and so on. WRDM has handled projects associated with several national and international agencies. The illustrious faculty of WRDM not only holds memberships and fellowships of the Indian institutions, but is also honored by international organizations working in this field. In India, rainfall is highly non-uniform in time and space. It leads to the uneven 
distribution of the water availability and also results in the hydrological disasters. The role of the department is to impart the training to the engineers from various states so that they can acquire advanced knowledge in the field of water management and they can go back to their parent organizations and impart training to their fellow engineers for optimum management of water resources. WRTM frequently organizes international national seminars, symposia, workshops on topics of national international relevance and interests. Of late, just to name a few recent ones, an international conference was organized on challenges in irrigation management for food security during November 26, 27, 2016 and a national workshop was organized on hydropower development and management thinking ahead on April 16, 2017. In the Department of Water Resources Development and Management, we also have a society with the name Indian Water Resources Society. This is one of the largest society working in the field of water resources. It has presently more than 7,500 individual members and more than 300 institutional members. It has several nodal centers at various places located in very various metro cities. Besides other activities of conducting every year national and international conferences, workshops, seminars and symposia at Roorkee and outside Roorkee, we also publish regular a quarterly journal. Its name is the Journal of Indian Water Resources Society. The objective of WRDM is to share knowledge understand problems and collaborate. Hydropower is a good form of energy. It is very easy to switch on or switch off the power plants. In solar also that uh, the grid stability is better in form of the hydropower. Therefore, hydropower development is a necessity. It is not a choice. So, we are working how to develop a sustainable hydropower schemes in the country. Emphasis is on Afro-Asian countries, their water-related issues, and on sharing technical expertise in order to improve conditions. WRDM seeks to train specialists who will take care of environment-friendly, sustainable development of water resources in the time to come and explore non-conventional methods of water resource development and management. WRDM has a defined goal of creating skilled manpower. It envisages a future in which such trained specialists emanating from its portals will have the same vision and commitment to create a better future for mankind. The Department of Water Resources Development and Management was more popularly known as Water Resources Development and Training Center. WRDM's vision envisages development of infrastructure with the addition of more institutions, better equipped laboratories, better learning facilities and books and the right faculty to impart training. It seeks to build capacity in the long term through its specialized MTech, PGDM and PhD programs that are open for Indians and for international students. Its vision extends to empowering industries, gain specialized knowledge through its consultations and to adopt a scientific approach to water technologies.
our water resources development and management department is closely related to the theme which led to the inception of our institute 172 years ago in recent times the government as well as the society has been expecting that the knowledge that is being generated in academic institutes in particular iits it becomes more and more useful and relevant for solving the problems of the country and the world at large 172 years ago we faced the problem of famine in this area and the water resources engineers at that time were able to transform this area into a green area by developing a canal which also led to the development of several hydraulic structures which provided irrigation throughout this area with the expertise and wisdom that the department has generated over the last several decades i am sure that it will now be able to spread its wings and outreach to solve bigger problems to solve solve problems of the country and not stop at only the india but also go beyond asia africa and the world at large and in this process the linkages that the department has developed over the last several decades with more than 60 countries will come very handy we have been teaching the students and officers of these countries for very long and we have first hand experience of the kind of issues that they face so i hope that more and more of our knowledge will get translated into benefits of mankind